Hello everyone, um, today we're going to make some carne empanadillas, uh, which is like a typical Spanish dish. Uh, the recipe is very similar to like bolognese sauce, but it's not exactly the same. We're going to put like Spanish uh, touch to it and I hope you enjoy it. For the ingredients, we're going to need two carrots like this one. Uh, we're going to need um, one onion, one red, uh, yellow and green pepper, um, some paprika, which is uh, will give it like the special touch. Um, salt, pepper, tomato sauce, as we can see here, you can literally use any type of, um, of sauce. Three cloves of garlic, like half kilogram of ground beef. And of course, we'll need a, a table to cut everything and a good knife. Firstly, we'll start cutting the, uh, the peppers. A uh, little trick to do it faster is to remove that uh, green beef out of it and and i'll make it a lot easier the trick is to remove the white bits of it because he uh it's removes the a bitter flavor we'll have to do the same for all three types of peppers Virgin uh, olive oil, uh, typical from Spain, which is really good. And then we'll start adding all the vegetables. It's very important to always put the onion first because we'll make sure it's very toasted and like soft, um, which will make it, will give it a better flavor to the result. Now we're gonna add some more olive oil and then we'll stir everything to make sure that it is evenly distributed through the onion. Add some salt and pepper. As we can see, when we see that the onion is looking kind of like transparent, it means that it is almost done and then we're ready to add the rest of the vegetables. Okay, now we're gonna peel the, uh, the, the carrots. Uh, we're gonna use this kind of like weed peeler, I don't know the name, uh, but it's very useful and it makes it a lot quicker than using a knife. Um, now we're gonna cut the garlic and a little trick that I, there is for like cutting it you place it flat like that and then with your fist you go like that and this is what it does it just like breaks the skin and it makes it a lot easier to do it you can even like put it with your hands <laughs> that's that's a great example of how to do it. That that's a lot better than how I did it. <laughs> Both garlics and then we can start well there are actually three. My mom my mom's kind of the other one, so I'm just gonna chip Oh, um there's a really cool tip that my mom knows. Um you need to like cut it from like that in half. And then to avoid that like annoying feeling we will get when you we eat garlic, you need to like remove if you can see there's like a little line here well you need to like remove it like that and that just prevents you from like getting the garlic flavor and like throughout the whole day which is not good and we do that in all our garlics like you can see it here I'm just gonna oh that was pretty bad yeah and then boop out gone Now it smells really good and we haven't even like added the meat yet, which is going to be the, the next step. We're just going to add it only for it. Now. And we can 
add uh, some olive oil now. Good man. And we're just going to let it cook for like, like five minutes and then we'll add some more stuff. So now we can see how the meat is almost cooked. We have a different color now. Uh, we, the fire is stronger now, we put on level 8. And now we're going to put some white wine, which is going to improve the flavor a lot uh, more. We're going to add like um, a good amount, like that. Now we're going to stir it. It smells really good. And we're going to leave it, leave it for a little bit so that the alcohol evaporates. Okay, as we can see here, it's really going to also improve the flavor of the recipe. gonna let it like chill like that uh, for like five ten more minutes okay so meanwhile the meat is being ready we're gonna preheat the oven and we're gonna set it up at like approximately like 200 uh, degrees Celsius and the setting would be up and down uh, we would also set up um, a tray like this where we're gonna set up our empanadas um, and we can use this uh, material to protect the plate the dough we're going to use for our empanadillas and here we have like 12 units and I think it'll be it'll be enough for for our boiling meat sauce. So now we're going to divide our sauce in all of the uh, empanadillas. So, this, so we just need like a little spoon like that and we'll take a little amount and just put it in the middle like that maybe a little bit more. So to fold the empanadillas, we need to use a little bit of water. We take a finger, we dip it in the water, and we put it in like half of it. We just want to make the, the dough a little bit wet so that it sticks together. You got to do it quick because otherwise it will dry. And then you should just roll it like that, take it away, make sure that it sticks together. Just smash it around and now you just gotta bend it over like that and like to make sure it closes just like that before introducing them we're gonna put some uh crunchy salt over the top like we can see, and some olive oil. And now we just introduce them into the oven. See now the final result. They're gonna be uh, crunchy on the outside and very, very tender on the inside.